Hello my friend, welcome back to Higher Mathematics. Today I have a really interesting problem for you. So we have x to the 5 plus 5 to the 5 equal to x plus 5 to the 5th power. Really interesting problem and I hope you will enjoy it. But before solving this, I want to ask you if it's not hard to you, please support my my video with, with your like and write any comment. I really appreciate it. Thank you and let's try to solve it. First of all, we have really interesting expression on the left hand, on the right hand side. We have x plus 5 to the fifth power. And we really need it to raise this to the fifth power because we need to simplify it step by step. And right here, this fifth, not fifth power, this raising to the fifth power is, is not good for us. But what about this coefficient right here? But first of all, I want to write this expression. We all know this is a Pascal triangle right here. So I write it as x to the fifth times five to the zero plus right here, x to the fourth times five to the first power plus x cube times 5 square plus x square times 5 cube plus x times 5 to the fourth power and plus 1 times 5 to the fifth power. So this is expression that we write right here. But what about this coefficient right here? What about the fifth power? Everyone know this triangle when we have like a first power right here we'll have 1. If you're talking about square right here we'll have 1 and 1. If we have, for example, square, we all know this formula x square plus 2xy and plus b square. But what about the fifth power? Because right here we'll have fifth power. So I skip this one part with, with fourth power and with cube. And as a result, our fourth power give us this coefficient. So 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. And let's write this, all of these numbers. So right here we'll have 1. Right here we'll have 5. Right here we'll have 10 real quick, one more 10 right here, right here 5 and right here 1. So we have this, this expression. So let's simplify this a little bit. Let's simplify because right here we have 0 power, we can easily simplify it. But before writing this, I write this left hand side. So we have x to the fifth power plus 5 to the fifth power equal to, as a result, we will have right here x to the fifth power plus 25x to the fourth power plus 25 right here 250 x cube plus 1250 x square plus 3125 x and plus 5 to the fifth power. A long expression as you can see but if you look closely to this right here we'll have x to the fifth and right here x to the fifth so we can easily cancel this and right here we'll have 5 to the fifth and right here five to the fifth. So as a result, as you can see, we, we simplify this a little bit. But let's go next, what, will, what expression we will have? From here, we can easily factor 25x because right here, 25x can easily factor right here, x, right here, x, right here, x, and every of this coefficient can be divided by 25. So 25x and in parentheses, we will have x cube plus 10x square plus 50x plus 125 equal to zero. So we just factor in 25x right here. And if we look closely to this, to this expression, we can easily see that x equal to zero will be our solution right here from this expression, because this is a product, then this x equal to zero. So this is good for us, x first equal to zero. And if you look closely, more closely to the first expression, minus five, x second equal to minus 5 will be solution as well because we, we have like odd power so minus 5 to the fifth right here 5 to the fifth give us 0 and right here give us 0 so 0 and minus 5 will be our solution but why we, we need this minus 5 because we can easily factor it take a look closely this x can be written right here this right here this root I write as x plus 5 and if we factor real quick from here, this x plus 5, we will have in the second parenthesis, we will have x square plus 5x and plus 25. Real quick factoring equal to equal to 0. So, and right now, right here we have two roots. This one x right here, this x plus 5 give us right here. But what about this parenthesis? We're right here we have quadratic equation. So we need to solve it because we have a product, this equal to zero, this equal to zero, and this one need to be equal to zero. So let's do this. We will have x square plus 5x 
and plus 25 equal to equal to zero. Let's solve it real quick. Let's find real quick our roots using a, b, c or real quick we can find our roots in our mind. So we will have minus b minus 5 plus minus b square minus 4ac which give us 25 minus 4ac minus 100 and all over all over to a. Let's simplify this a little bit. We can easily simplify this because we have parentheses right here. We have minus 5 plus minus square root of minus 75 as you can see and all over all over 2. So we have this expression and right now we can easily see that right here we'll have two complex two complex roots because minus 75 square root of minus 75 is not a real number. But let's simplify this a little bit. We can easily find this this answer. So we'll have minus 5 plus minus right here we can easily write it as 25 times 5 I guess and we can easily factor 5 and we can easily factor minus 1 which is give us i times 5 square root of 3 all over all over 2. And if we divide it by 2 we will have our answer in another form so we will have minus 2.5 plus minus i times 2.5 square root of 3. So it looks like 2 two roots in this case when we have quadratic equation. And let's write our final answer. So for our final answer x equal to 0. So x equal to 0. Can we check it real quick? Of course we can check it real quick. We will have 0 to the 5 plus 5 to the 5 equal to 0 plus 5, 5, 5 to the 5. So this root is good for us. Let's go next. We have minus 5 x equal to minus 5 and if you plug in minus 5 we will have minus 5 to the fifth power plus 5 to the fifth power equal to minus 5 plus 5 to the fifth power. If we look closer right here we have odd power so we can easily write minus and 5 to the fifth power and plus 5 to the fifth power which give us an opposite number because right here minus 5 to the fifth right here 5 to the fifth so we will have 0 equal to right here 0 to the fifth give us 0 as well so this root is as well really good for us and let's go next let's find let's write right here our so this is second root this is first root what about third and fourth we can easily write it i guess i I will have enough space right here. So our third and fourth root minus 2.5 plus minus i times 2.5 square root of 3. This is our, our solution to this interesting to this interesting problem. I guess you don't see this expression because I hold this paper right here like that, but I hope you understand this step right here. We just check check our root real quick. Really interesting problem. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please leave a like, write any comment, or write a question. I try to help everyone because this question is really interesting and I like it a lot. So I hope you you understand it and enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.